hi friends this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so in this video i will i will try to clear your all doubt regarding the jmain 2021 before the march attempt so watch this video till the end so that you will have the complete information i will discuss everything in this video about the refund transfer how to check the answer key how to challenge the answer key if you think you are correct and they have provided the wrong answer so all those things will be discussed in this video so watch the video till the end so that you will have the complete information and sorry for the late video as i have some work so i am making the video late but uh, i am sure uh, you will get all your doubt clear in this video so uh, if you are first to my channel please subscribe it so that you will have uh, you will have the further information also about the jmain through uh, the video that i will upload in the future and i have already uploaded many video regarding the cutoff marks versus percentile for each shift you can check all those video and if you feel any type of doubt you can ask in the comment section or on my instagram also so let us start the video so uh, i'm again telling you that please subscribe you i am very close to 2000 subscriber if you support i will get there very soon and i will always try to inform you all the update at the real time so try to subscribe and support me through sharing this video uh, to your friends and uh, junior if possible so let's start the video so uh, i am here on in the website of jmain so here you will get the two option that is uh, if you don't apply till now then also i will discuss how to apply for, uh, the, for this march session and onwards for april or may session and if you have applied and uh, have attended the February session then how to che check the answer key because the answer key will not be available for long duration you should check it because you will feel uh, the doubt and confusion after the result uh, is published you will think that I have got more number of marks but I didn't get uh, the expected percentile uh, so try to estimate your answer uh, that is uh, estimate your marks using the official answer key that will be used finally so don't uh, you have the confusion after uh, the public uh, publication of the result because result will display only your percentile don't your marks so try to do that so here first of all i will talk about the registration to uh, do the registration just click on the registration form and then try to watch a video in which i have talked about the step by step process what you need to follow to do the application for the march session if you are doing it first time so be careful about this you don't need to apply uh, separately for both the time if you have applied for fab attempt then you can only pay the march attempt fee if you haven't pay, uh, haven't paid the fee so you can uh, attend the exam so if you don't apply the fab attempt then you can register and how to do all the process you can check that video in i button as well as in description box because uh, the video will be very long if, if i discuss and that thing also because i have already discussed that so you can check there if you haven't registered uh, till now then only do the registration if you do the duplicate registration with, registration with the same name then both the application will be cancelled so be careful about this and one more thing i would like to tell you that if you have applied uh, for two attempt by mistakely with two application then you should cancel one uh, application and how to do that i will talk in this video later and uh, because if you don't do then both the uh, application will be cancelled and you won't able to attend uh, exam so, the answer key and all those things and how to do the correction so just click on this uh, any one link and uh, log in uh, your application number and uh, password so i have already logged in so here you can see all those things that is application number download the confirmation page if you haven't done it yet correction in application form so this is the link for correction and here is you can see your question paper and the response what what you have done and uh, by checking this you can uh, see what you have done and then you can uh, check the answer key that is official and uh, so checking those that you can Click on after clicking on the question paper you will get this uh, page where you will get the uh, attempt that you have do for the every question you will get the status answered not answered if you answer uh, if answered then uh, which option you have choose to then match it with the official answer key right. just right. click on the uh, view or challenge the answer key so here you will get yeah. the option for claiming or challenge if you think the uh, suppose the option uh, the first question have the question id this and answer this if you think this is not the correct answer and another one is the correct answer this one or this one in between 12 13 
or 11 uh, except 14 if you think other is the correct option by consulting your teacher or from any other source you can tick on that and you can challenge by paying 200 per question so you can see all the uh, all the uh, answer that is being provided here so you can match and do it very soon because it will not available for later time uh, it will be uh, vanished uh, in one or two days only so try to do the uh, estimation of your marks so that you will get the correct marks and a percentile so here is the uh, your uh, response you can check all the attempt what you have done in the exam and question also and this question also help you to uh, revise for the later attempt so try to take the screenshot of this all the questions so that you will have the question and you can prepare well for the next attempt so this is how you, you should uh, estimate your marks and check and if if you do, uh, if you think you are done the right and they provide the wrong answer then you should uh, do the challenge uh, it, it required only 200 so you can do the challenge also so now i will talk about the correction so do the if you want to do any type of correct just click on the correction in application form then you will be asked to uh, tick the uh, agree button because if you do the correction then you won't able to change it for the letter attempt. so here is the data that you can change that is the category you can change if you are general and now you want to appear for the uh, AWS candidate then you can change and you have to mm -hmm. a certificate that you uh, are uh, belonging that is AWS SCST and you need to upload that certificate and now the most important thing that is refund or transfer suppose you want to transfer the here uh, this student have uh, take all the option that they have appeared for all the exam but if you want to appear for only the uh, April attempt and don't appear for May attempt and March attempt then you can untick this way and then you will get the refund this is the most important point don't uh, skip the video you will get the much needed information I will talk here so this is all about the refund so now uh, just think if you have only applied for March and you want to transfer it to April then just untick the March and tick the April attempt or the May attempt so you can transfer your uh, attempt from one to another but one more thing here should be noted if you haven't applied till yet and if you are applying for the first time March attempt then you uh, you have to apply for on, uh, on any one uh, attempt you can't uh, just untick all the attempts suppose if you have applied for the uh, three attempt only that is March April and May not the five attempt then you can't untick all the option you have to tick any one because NTS says you if you are applying then you must give any one attempt so uh, that's why they haven't uh, um, provide the refund for five attempt if you have unticked or not appear in the exam that that's no matter you will not get any refund for the five attempt for those students who have who have applied for the five attempt and now the many student have the question that uh, if if I apply for the refund how, where and when I will get the refund so I would like to tell you that you will get the refund in the original payment method that you have used during the payment if you use the cyber cafe for uh, for the application and payment then you can tell them that I have applied for the refund and then when the uh, refund will be processed I think if you apply for March April, March attempt you will get the refund uh, after the March exam that is two or three day, uh, days later and you won't get the all the refund at the same time you will get the refund separately and you will get the refund in the same payment method as you have done so if you uh, want to get that money from the cyber cafe uh, person then you just show them the email that you will get from the NTA that is your uh, refund has been processed so you can so show them that is uh, my refund has been processed you should check your account and return my money so you will get your money back so this is all about the refund and transfer here one more thing you should note that if you have unticked any attempt before uh, that is in the fab correction the, or you will do now that is uh, in march correction window then in the later attempt if you want to tick that option then you have to pay again you can see that now also if you have unticked any attempt that is april or may attempt in fab correction window then you uh, if you are now ticking that option then you will be asked to pay the money because you will get the refund for that 
but you need to pay it again now so don't worry if you if you need to pay just pay it you will get the refund for that if you have unticked before and also you can change the exam city this is the most important thing you can change the exam city here you can select another one if you think then you can also change this uh, any one of the uh, exam city uh, that is you should if you want to change then just change the first choice and second choice that will be you know because 95% uh, of student got the first choice at uh, uh, exam city only so you will get that you can also do some changes in the uh, educational detail so you should check all those uh, things that you can change and that you uh, that is required to change so the you can uh, process your application in a better way. important thing that is category certificate if you haven't uploaded it till now then you can upload it and if you have uh, firstly you are uh, you are a general student now you are a EWS student then you have to upload the EWS certificate and you can also do this thing in the next attempt correction also so before may you have to upload the uh, category certificate if you uh, provide the written uh, agreement only in the first time because the NTA says that you can also upload now the agreement then later you can at, uh, upl upload the original certificate so so this is you should do these things and try to share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information and uh, once again thanks for the watching the video and if you think any any type of doubt you can ask in the comment section or my instagram i will be there to reply you as soon as possible so thanks for watching the video